Hello, Adam here with a review of a 511 Tactical Flashlight. This is the ATAC R3MC <laughs> Rechargeable Multiple Color Tactical Flashlight. Uh, that's a lot to say. So, uh, it took me a while to actually pick this one up and finally did. And uh, I'm excited to have it. This is the box that came in right here and uh, it's uh, 239 lumens on high and it says it'll last, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it'll last three hours on high when it's on constant and, uh, and then on the, uh, where's the, here it is, on the low setting uh, it's 23 lumens and it will stay constant on for 43 hours and the strobe is 230 lumens and constantly on it'll stay on for 6 hours and 15 minutes uh, it's a pretty neat flashlight uh, here it is right here uh, 511 tactical it's uh, it's a weird flashlight uh, I say that because it's multicolored it has the, uh, the white and uh, and then I see that's the high, then that's the low. To turn it, to turn it on high, you just depress the button at the tail cap there, and uh, it's on high. Or you can just momentarily press it and let it go. Or you can double tap it and then push it and let it go and it's on low. And then three times for strobe. Okay. Now, <clears throat> it's got a little switch here on the top. It turns on the tail cap. Okay. Now, uh, well, hope, hopefully you can see this. There's like uh, four different white dots. And they look like white dots, but you know, this one here on the, this far side represents a little lock signal uh, symbol. So that if if this um, there's little ridges here, but there's a big ridge right here, and that. Um, determines what setting it's on so when it's on this far side over here and you depress the button nothing happens it's locked so if it's pushed by a mistake somehow you won't run your battery down that's an excellent excellent feature about these 511 flashlights the two 511 flashlights that I have have that feature this one and the ATEC uh, L1 have that feature right here so it's off now but when I turn it then it's on I really love that feature this is my everyday carry flashlight really small I show you a comparison of the two so you can see the size difference big size difference this is really small fits right in your pocket and uh, I think this is a hundred and seventy three lumens on high. It's really bright for as small as it is. It's an excellent little flashlight. I've done a review on that already if you want to go check that out in my archives. Not that I have a bunch of archives, but anyway. Uh, so you turn the, the, the button here on the tail cap one click over and you've got regular white light. You've got the high, you've got the low, and you've got the strobe. If you turn it one more click over and you depress it, you've got red LEDs. Isn't that cute? And they strobe. There's only one setting for the red and the blue light and strobe. Okay. I'm not sure exactly if the what the lumens are on that, but um, so if you turn this one more time, then hit the button, then you've got blue. Really neat. Now how often do I use that? Not really not very often. Um, if you intend on joining the militia, the militia requires that you have a, not including a white flashlight, also you have to have a colored flashlight. So there you go. Folks wanting to join the militia, probably a good time to do so uh, <laughs> with all this crazy madness going on. Um, this flashlight I think would meet their requirements. Um, Let's see here. Let's, let's. What else is there to talk about with this thing here? Uh, it's a little 
uh, what they call that beveled edge right here. I guess that you could use it as a weapon if you had to. And it probably would not feel good if somebody jammed this into your face. Uh, oh, here we go. We can talk about this. Now, I carry this one in my little holder, my little leather holder for work, and it slips right in. Okay. And it slips right out. But that's because I've taken some of the pieces off of the outside. Now, you've got a removable uh, pocket clip that I have removed. It looks very similar to that pocket clip that's on my smaller flashlight. Okay. And so I've removed this because I don't want it on there. You can put it back. Um, <laughs> there's a little O-ring that looks important. <laughs> I took it off over here. It was attached with the, with the, uh, with the pocket clip. Okay. I don't think it's that important. It works just fine without it. And then there's this much bigger, much larger O-ring here that's, it goes right here. Uh, when the, uh, actually you can have it with or without the pocket clip. But I like this on my other one. I don't know if you can see that with the little rubber part there. That's, that's what this is. Okay. And what that does is it gives you a good grip. It gives you really good grip if you need to, you know, you want to keep hold of it. But it's also anti-roll along with the clip pocket clip is anti-roll too. Even without the clip, this little rubber thing helps it from, from rolling around. So if you want to keep it stationary, you can do that. Yeah, that being said, for the one I use at work, I don't, um, I don't need all that. I don't want all that. It's not that I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't want the rubber grip uh, or the pocket clip because, um, as you know, I'm a police officer. And when I need my flashlight, I need it now right now and so um i don't want to have to worry about taking it out of its holder and the rubber part is stuck and it can't come out or the paper clip uh, the paper clip the pocket clip is stuck and it won't come out that's why that's why i removed all that so it's all smooth here so i boop, pops right out no problems and i can go ahead and commence to using my flashlight okay so that's that it's got some little ridges here and ridges on the other side this is uh, this is all I don't know what you call it, but it's uh, textured, so it's easy to uh, unscrew here and take off, which I will do. And what I will reveal on the inside is the rechargeable battery. Now, let's talk about this neat feature. Um, if you're if you're wondering if you're having a dilemma of do I buy a battery with a rechargeable battery? Did I say a battery? Do I buy a flashlight with a rechargeable battery? Or do I buy a flashlight that takes regular batteries? Well, this is an interesting uh, option for you. You can buy this particular flashlight here and uh, you can have a rechargeable battery as well as it comes with this little fancy device that when you open it, what's inside, but two CR123 batteries. So with this flashlight, you get both options. I absolutely love that. Because I'll tell you, for years, I've had the conversation in my head, do I get a rechargeable flashlight or the ones with batteries? And I've, I've used rechargeables forever. And when I saw that this one was multi-purpose, goes back and forth, batteries or rechargeable, I said, that is totally awesome. So I thought that was a fabulous uh, option here with this flashlight. And so that pops back in there. Screw the tail cap back on. And bada boom, bada bing. So that's that. What else does this flashlight come with? It comes with a lot of little gadgets, like I talked about, the belt clip, the little O-rings, the small one and the bigger one. Um, it comes with uh, a uh, lanyard, <clears throat> okay, which is really neat. All right, it comes with a lanyard, and uh, <clears throat> you can, this little end part here, you can, uh, Feed it through, I probably won't be able to do it right now because I'm on camera <laughs> in the middle of making a video, 
but it feeds through this little piece here and then you can make it to where it's a lanyard so it's so you can hold on to the rope and still have the flashlight again I don't really I don't want that feature it's nice to have that's the beautiful thing about these things it's removable if I change my mind next year I go, oh well, you know what I like that now I can put it on this flashlight came with one as well I don't use it on this one either maybe I might change my mind in the future I don't know but the neat thing about this is if you do it's got this little rubber thing here that's adjustable so you can make this part bigger or smaller here make it bigger or smaller as you can see uh, but as I was saying what's neat here is this piece here detaches into two pieces so say you did have your flashlight hooked up to this lanyard and you had this thing hooked up to your wrist and say somebody grabbed this flashlight and they were trying to manipulate your body well worst case scenario is if they were pulling on you these two come apart so you can detach yourself from the flashlight or if your flashlight's caught somewhere and your hand is trapped it detaches so that is a pretty neat little feature like that love options and this flashlight has a ton of options so make sure I put this on right and then it clips back together like that so ton of options like options a lot it also comes with uh, the uh -oh, in-house power cord okay there we go and uh, the charger right here for your rechargeable batteries little connectors here connect there and bam plug it up and you are good to go there we go plug that sucker up and it charges and there you go you can use her again in a little while uh, now here's a another neat little feature now you can uh, mm -mm -mm, where is it at here uh, mm. Take this off. It also comes with the car charger. Okay. Which is also really neat. So you can plug it up at home or you can plug it up in your car. Now, I have not actually used it in the car yet, so I am at a complete loss at this particular moment of how to plug this thing into there. <laughs> I've not used this yet in the car. Uh, haven't had I haven't had a need yet so um, perhaps it plugs right into the flashlight okay well there's the piece that I don't know sorry folks oh well but obviously it's capable of doing that because here you are here it is silly me silly me here it is the home adapter unplugs <laughs> car adapter plugs in then bam then you're in the car rolling Okay, learn something new every day. How about that? Alrighty then. Uh, what else does she come with? She comes with screws, four screws, so that you can attach the charger to a wall. And as you can see, it's got four holes on there. So you can attach it to a wall or a table or whatever you want to attach it to if you want to. Obviously, mine is not attached to anything. Um, also, this uh, charger has a little button here, a little slider goes over and all it does is um, when it's when your rechargeable battery is charging if you have it to one side the little it's a little red light that comes on it says it's charging and it turns green when it's charged well this is just the brightness and dimness you can make that light dim or you can make it bright okay just a cute little feature dim or bright all right so uh, and of course your fancy user guide that's not even been opened you couldn't tell could you <laughs> okay so that's that this is uh, quite a neat flashlight like it a lot and uh, I, I, I think I paid hundred and twenty bucks for this thing on sale it's uh, on 511's website right now for 160 that's probably worth 160 I'm sure but I like to get things as cheap as possible. That's why I buy most, if not almost, all of my equipment from LAPoliceGear.com. 
So I and I get this one was on a huge sale at LA Police Gear. I remember paying 120 I think for this. So I got a pretty good deal. Okay folks, that's it for me right now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay folks, one other quick note is uh, the reason why I switched my flashlights at work was my old Streamlight flashlight that I still carry as a backup. Um, when I wanted to change the brightness setting, I had to depress the tail cap switch and hold it. And then like a second later, it would switch to medium. And then a second later, it would switch to low. And then if then you go ahead and depress the button all the way and it would stay on whatever setting you, you were on. I didn't want to wait that long. I, I wanted to change my settings immediately. So if I want to go from high to low, I can do it that fast. I don't want to have to wait seconds. Sometimes, because of what I do, um, I don't want people to know that I'm coming. Uh, so it's, it's good to be able to hit the low beam very quickly. So now I can only see like right in front of me and it's harder for people to see me further away. Same thing with these colored lights, you know? Yeah, it's weird, but sometimes it comes in handy. Uh, when I'm up close and I want to look at something really close or uh, maybe if I just want to peek at an address or something, these little colored, colored lights, um, they have their place. Of course, the, the low setting is just as well also. But um, I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. That was, that was the key feature, really, in ordering this flashlight and using it, was the ability to go from high to low almost instantly. I mean, that is fast. And my old stream light, I had to hold it and hold it, and it would switch, and then hold it, and it would switch. And I just didn't want to wait that long. Um, so you know what, though? That is the only thing about my old Streamlight that I don't, don't care for. Everything else I love. In fact, the the beam on my old Streamlight, the high setting was um, 185 lumens, I think. And this one's 239. But that 185 lumens, it was a much more focused beam at a distance. I mean, I could hit 100 yards away and be focused right on one thing. I mean, it was awesome. This one is much broader. I can't focus as far away as well as I used to with my stream light. So that's what I, you know, that's that's what I'm trading here. I'm I'm trading the ability to switch from high to low instantly. But I'm also losing that that really far reach out and touch you beam. Now I can this will shine very far, but it's just very broad. The stream light is very narrow, which I happen to like. Um, so, you know, if stream light could make a flashlight that uh, I could change the settings fast like that, like this one here, then that might be the ultimate flashlight for me. If 511 could make this beam much tighter then this one uh, at, at distances, this one might be the ultimate flashlight for me. So uh, I'm training one thing for another, but the ability to go from high to low is extremely important to me, more important than that reach out and touch you uh, focused beam of the stream light. So I just wanted to add that feature. Okay, thanks folks. Talk to you later. Bye.